zero business objects okay so basically for what purpose we are going to do this sap integration and what we are going to get from sap so basically why we are going to create a universe means to create web reports on sap data mm -hmm. okay to yes. create web reports on sap data sources we are going to create universe mm -hmm. okay in bo we have some mandatory is need to create an universe on sap sources okay, okay. that is required sources for example where universe is going to support some of the following sources with sap okay in okay. sap some of the sources we have those are like infocube multi provider infosec and backquery okay we'll write down over here for creating web reports on sap data source okay and mm -hmm. we will the mandatory is need to create an universe on sap sources okay where well, you can say require sources okay over here in this sap universe supports for this following sources have you seen the sap sources amrita no no have no okay see basically uh, where to which source we can connect in sap like for example if you want to create a universe mm -hmm. we do have a bw system in sap right yeah in bw system we have some sources where we call it as info providers mm -hmm. where we call it as info, info providers provider. okay? okay the okay. following are the info providers which is available actually okay those mm -hmm. are info cubes multi provider info set back queries okay these are the four major sap universes are going to support okay 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 here we do have some mandatory requirements for creating universe on sap okay, okay. what okay. are they will see before that We'll log in into bw system mm -hmm. okay and we'll uh, we'll see that how these info providers are available in bw system okay okay uh, just go to sap logon pad okay over here double click on bw okay okay provide username and password okay Where to go? R S A one to see the so everything. So it is a administration console actually. It's a main T code in B W system. Okay, please remember okay. R S A one is the main T code. See, it's a data warehouse. 
workbench, total everything you can navigate from here itself in RSA one itself. Okay? okay. So I want to see now. I want to see info providers, right? See for example, if I want to see info set, see they have named something like this info set, right? These all are these all are info sets. Okay. These all are info objects. Okay. Where he wants to see the info cube, right? Mm -hmm. This is DSO. Okay. This is info cubes. Okay? Okay. Okay? So basically, these are the info cubes, multi providers. This will be the multi providers. This will be the info set. Like this. We do have mm -hmm. so many sources over here. By using okay. these sources, actually, these sources, what exactly do mean? These sources will store the data in a different, different Store table. the data. Yes. Okay. Under these info providers, mm -hmm. there will be some tables. Okay. In that mm -hmm. tables, data is going to be stored. So okay. info set and info cube. I mean info cube, info set, multi provider. Is the data stored as a different different kinds? Yes, different different kinds. See, basically, okay. where info cube is the physical storage of data. Coming uh -huh. to info set and multi provider, it's a runtime data. It, it it holds runtime data. When you run, when you use that, then only it is going to execute with the data. Or else okay. it, it, should, it is not going to store any physical data in multi okay. provider and info set. Coming okay. to the info cube, it's a physical data where it is going to be stored. And coming to the black queries, these all queries will be like it's a uh, it's a query actually where you you're going to build on info cube or multi provider or info set the queries. Okay. okay? Black queries means you are going to build a query on top of reporting on top of info cubes, DSOs, okay, info sets, multi providers in BW system. Not in view okay. system. Okay? okay. You okay. can connect to that that query as well with BO system. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. So now we'll see the mandatory requirement for creating a universe on SAP. Okay? Okay, so uh, the first one, Vivo flying tune must be installed. SCP GUI must be installed. Just now I have shown you the GUI. Mm -hmm. This one should be installed, must be inspi installed. Why? Because where you are going to connect to the OHA two systems, right? So mm -hmm. that should be maintained in a GUI. Then only it is going to interact in BWO system with BW. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, this is about well, this is about Moxy 3.1 version. Okay. Keep between SAP and Vivo must be installed.
must be up and running. Okay. Fifth one is single sign on. This is so between and view must be enabled. Okay, these are the five major steps where we need to maintain. Okay, okay. then only we can develop a universe on top of the city. Now, we'll configure the single sign-on over here, okay? These all are running now, right? These all are maintained. My Vivo client is installed in my system. UI is installed in my system. Integration kit between SAP and Vivo must be installed. That is also done. SAP and Vivo server must be up and running. That is also done. It's working fine now. So, single sign-on is not yet done. So, have to do this. Before that, we'll know about Boxy 4.x. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, all the steps are same. Okay? But this Integration kit between SAP and Vivo won't be there. When you install the Vivo client tools, automatically integration kit is also installed. Okay? So, okay. no need to maintain it separately. Okay? Okay. Now. Okay, now we'll see about creating a single sign on between SAP and Vivo. Okay, basically, mm -hmm. this is uh, this job is related to administrator, okay, or a basis role actually. What I will show means I will show you the screen where, where how to configure and what parameters you need to do over there, okay. Okay. Why? Because we need to have a use. Uh, we need to have a ID user ID from VW system where it should configure in VW system first. Okay. After that, that ID we are going to use in Vivo system. So this activity is going to be done by administrators. So I'm not going to do this. But I will show that how to configure single sign on in Vivo system. Okay? Yeah. Now we'll log in into our server. Okay? Now log in into CMC, Central Management Sensor. Means go to Google Chrome. Okay, went in the URL over here. Click enter.
okay log in into cnc central management console with admin administrator user account not with the developer user account yeah. you should log in with the administrator user account why because administrator is going to have the permissions to do these all activities okay yeah. now we to go click on navigate to authentication okay over here which system we are using sap right double click on sap system where we call it as the entitlement system over here see these all are configured already we'll delete okay this is my first tab in this first tab we are going to maintain the logical system okay means mm -hmm. see for example why we need to use single sign on concept first of all why we need to configure single sign on concept in vivo see for example amrita like we have a user called av okay that is that user is available in bw system okay that user is available in bw system now i want to use the same user with the same password without creating without maintaining okay automatically it should appear in vivo system the same credentials i need to get from bw system without creating how i can do that by configuring this single sign on concept you can get those users updated over here with the same username and with the same password okay by okay. using the same username and password you can log in also okay that is going to be happen okay now over here the entitlement system i need to configure this logical system so that i can connect to that particular system like see for example uh i want to connect to this bw system okay means i need to configure this right just copy and paste the ip Some number is double zero. Is it double zero or zero one? Double zero. And system ID is ECC, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And double zero one. Now you see when you click on update, oh, maintain the username and password as well. Okay when I click on update automatically the logical system name is going to be defined okay by using okay. these credentials see okay. click update see able to see the logical name yeah automatically it was defined by using these system client application system number username password and language mm -hmm. okay in this tab we are going to do this okay you can add n number of systems over here okay see for example if i click on new i okay. can add one more system over here okay see for example I have a other system that is ECC, right? Mm -hmm. We'll add this system also. Zero two, right? Mm -hmm. 
click update you see before it was 001 now it is 800 able to see right yes what is the client number pardon client number points client client number client number where we use for this bw system we use aha uh -huh. okay yeah you are talking about the client number see basically in each uh in each client places we are going to have a different different clients while installation they are going to define this client number okay 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 while installation they are going to define this client number based on this client number only we can log in into that respect like uh, respective system or else we can't oh. log in okay? Okay. okay so for each system there will be two clients or three clients for example see there are some different different application developers are there right mm -hmm. where you might be heard about the abapper abap right in the sap abap right sap abappers are going to have different authorizations so what these guys will do means they are going to assign with a different client so that they can do the development activities at sap level in sap level so coming to bw developers they are not going to touch all those things they are going to touch the modeling part where they are going to design the models they are going to extract the data and they are going to load the data so mm -hmm. they don't require the customizations okay mm -hmm. at two level in sap bw so in that scenario what basis guys will do means they are going to assign two different clients so based on those clients are uh, we are going to log in into bw system or acc system and then we are going to do our work okay so while installation what will happen means they can log in to the different different clients while installation itself they are going to define the clients how many clients they want to define it okay okay so that is mandatory where we need to maintain the client why because if you don't maintain the client you are not going to see the data whatever you have done in the client whatever the client you have selected and you have done some work right mm -hmm. for example if you change and if you log in into the client other client then obviously you are not going to see those changes and you can't do the changes also okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah now so in this way you are going to update now click on role import okay this role import is about like uh, it's a group see basically you might be heard about the groups in bo level right yeah what is that basically these are all groups able to see right right groups means a particular group will have certain users right mm -hmm. some of the users like uh, uh day before yesterday or in the first class we we created one group and assigned the users to that particular group in bo level right right same way we call it as role in bw system and ecc system okay okay in that system we are going to assign the users which should be available in single sign on okay okay where they can log in into bo system by using a single sign on counter means single sign on counter means where they can use the same username and the same password whatever they are using in bw system and ecc system mm -hmm. Yeah. the same thing he can, they can use in bo system and they can log in by using by assigning the users to the roles okay mm -hmm. where you can find the roles over here in the left side panel and you need to select those roles and send it to the right side panel and you need to update 
After doing these all activities, the users will updated in the users list. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now coming to the SMC settings, this will remain same. Don't be, uh, don't change any settings over here. Okay. This will be the standard settings. And coming to the options over here, you need to select the system like default system, which one you want to go. Okay. Of that, mm -hmm. uh, existing will be the same. Okay, over here, if you come down, and you can maintain the role imported users. All the users should be named users, not concurrent users. You know about the difference between concurrent and the named users, right? Yeah. Now, coming to the last is SAP SSO service. This is the SAP single channel service. I have told you, right? Yeah. These guys are going to generate a system ID, user ID, right? That ID we are going to use over here. We don't have any user ID over here. But because we never go with the creation of the single sign-on user ID. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that user ID we need to maintain over here. And same way we need to maintain the user passwords for that particular ID. Okay? And then you need to click update. After clicking on update, just go to user update over here. For example, if you have enhanced some users, okay, or created some users, new users, and those users you have assigned to the role, okay, respective role, and you want to update those roles or users, then you can, by, by clicking the update now, you can update it. Or else you can schedule, like, for every hour or for every day, you might be going to create two or three users and that user should be updated in vivo level. Means you need to go for a schedule. Okay. okay? This mm -hmm. will be, this schedule, I will show you how the schedule will work actually. See, basically this will uh, run the object hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, and the day of the month, first uh, Monday of month. Okay? Last day of month, X day of, and the week of the month, and calendar. Okay? These all will be there. These all objects will be there. Okay? Just mm -hmm. now. Okay? In this way, we are going to configure the single panel. Is it clear, Amrita? Yeah. Okay, so we are done with the single sign-on configuration, okay? In this way, we are going to do, these are the options where we are going to see in, in where? In single sign-on. Single sign-on. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now. Now, we'll create a universe on top of info. Okay? Okay. How to create a universe on top of info queue okay just first get into the bw system why because i need to see my info provider over here why because which info provider is working fine and uh, which info provider holds data that i need to check in sandbox system we are coming to real time Based on our requirement, we are going to create the universe. Okay? Okay. So now, I would like to find the info cube. Zero LT underscore, please write down this technical name. Mm -hmm. C03. Okay. This is my cube, right? Let me check whether this cube is holding data or not. Okay? How to check? Just right click on this info cube, okay? Click mm -hmm. on manage. Okay, over here you can see the request, right? Uh, just check whether this request holds the records or not. Yes, this request holds the records. Just let me check the data in this. Select the target, click on contains.
click continue okay so now click continue Okay, click continue. Taking time to execute. Mm -hmm. We'll check whether this is holding the data or not. Okay, we have all zeros in this. Okay, let's take the other cube. Let's go with this cube. And see, uh, creation of universe on top of SAP is very easy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. We have some mass data for this. We have some values also. Okay? Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll create a universe on top of this info provider. Okay? What is my info provider? This is customer info provider. What is the technical name of this info provider? Zero S D underscore C zero one. Able to say right? Yeah. Now we'll log in into Universe Designer. Just go to start. Okay. Mm -hmm. Universe design tool. <coughs> Maintain the password. We'll go with the nickel user. Okay. Now, uh, how to create? Now, click on new means here also we need to define the parameters. Okay. Okay. Click on New Universe. Okay. 
name the universe sap underscore universe underscore customer right mm -hmm. now click on a new connection where we need to create a new connection for this secured we need to go with the secured one Okay, click next. Now, choose the driver over here. Okay, where we are, we were connecting to the SAP, right? So go to SAP, expand. Okay. Which which system? BW, right? SAP mm -hmm. Business Warehouse. Expand. Okay. Select mm -hmm. SAP Client. Okay. Click mm -hmm. Next. Now configure these parameters. Okay. From where I can do this? See, basically, here we are going to have a SAP GUI, right? Double click on this GUI. See, what he is asking over here, he is asking username and password, right? That, yeah. that you need to maintain over here, my username is user, user, password is this one. And coming to client, my client was 001, right? Mm -hmm. And language is EN. Application server, what is application server? Where I can see this? Just go to SAP GUI. Over here, select the BW system, click on change button, this pencil button. Okay, okay. over here you can see the application server, just copy and paste it over here. Okay. Okay, and same mm -hmm. way the system number 00 and the system ID is ECC. Okay. Now click on next. All maintaining after maintaining these all parameters, click on next. Okay. Now I need to find. See, these are. This will be an OLAP cubes. Okay. Over here. <laughs> Info providers will be available in dollar info cube. Bex queries will be available over here. Okay. Info providers means what will come? Like the uh, it is going to cover info cubes, multi providers, and info sets will come under dollar info cube. Where Bex queries will come under these folders. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now I need to find info provider, right? So what was my technical name of my info provider? It is customer zero S D underscore C zero one, oh. right? Okay. Which one? This one. Technical name. You want to see yeah. right? Yeah. This one we need to enter over there. Okay. Maintain it and click search. Able to see right customer zero g underscore c zero one there right under which folder dollar info cube right click next okay over here coming to this array fetch size array brand size. See, for example, for improving the performance and all those things, you can increase the value over here so that the performance will be increased at query time. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now click finish. That's it. Connection is defined. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you are going to have the same tabs summary, strategy, controls. C 
SQL links and preview parameters. Okay, now everything will be same. Click OK. Now see, after clicking OK, automatically classes and objects are going to be defined. No need to define the joint conditions between the tables over here. Okay. Okay. Okay, is it clear? Yeah. Any questions? No. See, automatically it is defined the classes and okay. objects. Okay. When you expand, yeah. you can see the objects. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll explain you about L00 and L01, don't worry. Okay, don't be confused. Okay, now here we in structure planning, we are not going to maintain any tables. Okay, already this is defined as a star schema in BW level. Then why we need to create once again, why we need to define the star schema in BW level. Okay, no need, right? So that's the reason the already existing star schema is done and in BW level. So now it is generated the uh, means like that. now it is connected to that particular info provider where now it is available for reporting okay mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. before that I would like to save I would do testing okay whether there is any some loops or what see basically which is enabled over here what ob uh, what you can check over here you can check you can praise the objects you can place the conditions, that's it. You can't do the rest of the things. Like, why? Because this is not non SAP. This is SAP, right? Mm -hmm. Already the activities has been done at PW side itself. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So now click OK to check the integrity. <clears throat> so in today's session uh, this will this will discuss okay this will with this will complete our session okay and uh, in the evening we'll discuss about the back queries how to connect and we'll see some uh, best practices okay mm -hmm. with okay. sap okay Okay. We'll see some best practices and we'll develop a small report on top of these universes as well. Okay? okay. okay. And uh, we'll have a comparison between SAP and Vivo and uh, how to do the impact analysis for SAP universe. Okay? And mm -hmm. what customizations you can do at SAP universe that we'll see in today's session. Mm -hmm evening session and we'll see the customizations which are not possible in SAP and the best practices we'll see. After that, we'll come to the differences between the R3 system and the R4 system. Okay? okay. What differences we have. After that, we'll discuss about the information design tool. This is also one universe where introduced in Vivo 4.0 version. Okay? okay. Now, okay. We need to use, we need to go with the IDG, not with the universe designer. So, okay. this procedure will be the same. Okay, screens are yeah. changed. That's it. Okay, <laughs> that I will show you in that. Okay? okay, and how to use the things, what to do the things, how the joints will you need to define, how the tables will be defined. Okay, what are the new concepts was introduced in IDT level? Those things we'll discuss. Okay? okay. Okay. We'll have an introduction with the information design tool, if exactly. possible, if we do have a time in the evening okay. or else tomorrow directly, okay? Okay. okay. All right. So, means today means it will be morning for you, right?
Yes. <clears throat> Today, 9.30 p.m. IST. Okay? Your time? So it's going to be... Yes, my time. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Okay. 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 Take some time. Why? Because it is going to hold so many objects. Oh, okay, okay. Okay? So yeah. it will check each and every object and it will check the condition of that particular object. Okay. 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 Any more questions? No. <laughs> All right. No. This will take time. Okay. Any questions uh, till here, Amrita? No, no. All right. Okay, see, pressing objects are okay and pressing conditions are okay. Everything is fine, working, right? Mm -hmm. Now what I need to do, I already done with the testing, right? Now I need to distribute this universe to the enterprise portal. What I need to do, I need to save the universe. In the next portal. Okay. Mm -hmm. After that, I need to export the universe. Mm -hmm. I'll export. Okay. Click OK. Exported successfully. Right? Click OK. Now we'll connect to the web report. Okay? Mm, where to go? So basically, we have created a OLAP, or sorry, it's a universe, right? Not an OLAP connection. It's a universe OLAP connection. Okay? So, click on universe, provide the username and password.
Why we are not able to log in this one? Thank you. 
will create over here noises. Okay. Uh, in the launchpad level, you know, right? We can create a web report in uh, info view level, and same in uh, uh, we have a Windows based tool also, right? Over here, mm -hmm. select universe, click OK, OK, which mm -hmm. universe was uh, like uh, it was the name called SAP Universe Customer, right? This one, right? Yes. Select, click, select. It is going to open the query panel over here with the respective object. Okay, able to see right yeah. over here. When you expand the classes, we are going to find two objects. One is L00 and one is L01. Where in L00, you are going to have aggregated data. See, for example, if I drag over here and if I preview the data, you are going to get all dimensions. Some problem with the system. We'll check that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where when you drag and drop the L01, you are going to get the business data. Where with L00, you are going to get aggregated data. And for L01, you are going to get business data, means actual data. Okay? Okay. okay. So basically, this L00 should be hidden at universe level. We need to do that. Basically, how to hide an object. Just select this, right click, hide item, right? Oh. This will hide the item, okay? And for end users, we need to enable the object called L01 only, not L00, okay? Yes. No use of L00. The system has been taken in that way that it is going to be automatically generated where you are going to see the aggregated data. Means mm -hmm. you are going to see all distribution channels. That's it. Okay. okay. Uh, I think we have some problem with the uh, info cube thing, so so that's the reason we are not getting any data. Okay, or else it should show the data first. Some error is suffering. We are suffering some error. Okay, we'll check this. Okay. We'll check and we'll update you in in the evening session. Okay. Okay, Amrita. Okay. 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 So in this way, we are going to connect to the uh, we are going to create a universe on top of InfoCube, and same way we can connect to the Bug Webby query in this way. Okay? Uh, okay. In the evening session, we'll see how to connect to a Bug query and on top of Bug query, how to develop a Webby report. And universe customization, SAP best practices, which is not possible to customize the in customizations, universe customizations that we'll discuss in the evening session. Okay? Okay. okay. See you evening, Amrita. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.